Good morning, everybody. I'm out here on the historic west side of Las Vegas. I'm right at the corner of F Street and Adams Avenue. And as you can see, this building looks like a plain old house, right? But this is a very big time important house in the history of black America and America in general. This is the Harrison Boarding House, 1933. As you can see right here is the Pioneer Trail. And it runs all the way around. You can see Vegas Drive, Main Street. The trail goes through Vegas. Okay, Harrison Boarding House. Black entertainers were not allowed to stay at the strip hotels where they performed in the 1940s and 1950s. Mrs. Harrison's boarding house offered fine accommodations for many of the era's most famous stars. During one memorable week in September 1949, Mrs. Harrison hosted singer and actor Pearl Bailey, pictured to the left. Jack Benny sidekick Rochester Anderson. That's Pearl Bailey, that's Rochester, and uh, where was I, who had just completed a week at the Thunderbird, singer Bob Parrish en route to Europe from a gig at Club Bingo, nightclub entertainers, the Edwards Sisters, the Jubilaires, and musician singer Arthur Lee Simpkins, all sideliners, all headliners, excuse me, headliners at the Flamingo. Guests dined together and shared news, stories, and entertainment, gossip in the Harrison living room. Sammy Davis Jr. You see Sammy right there. Sammy. Sammy Davis Jr. stayed here so often that many people thought he owned the house. Davis finally broke the color barrier on the strip when the Sands Hotel permitted him to stay while performing there in 1953. Subsequently, the Sands became the home of the famous Rat Pack who were turned away from the hotels where they performed. The Rat Pack had Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Peter Lawford, and Sammy Davis Jr. And black entertainers no longer had to be turned away. Isn't that wonderful? That's why I said it twice. Still, Mrs. Harrison's boarding house continued to offer a home away from home for many black visitors. And that's the house there. And there's a beautiful woman who is working on restoring the house. This is the historic west side of las vegas where all uh where a lot of uh predominantly black people live it, uh, here in the 50s it was basically nothing out here you know and uh it was like uh las vegas was called the mississippi of the west back then and you, if you can see down there where that says historic west side right that was the dividing line you know, you had to get back over there to the historic uh, west side once it got dark out here. All the black people. Because they just wanted us to work and uh, do, their, do their work for them. You know, the powers that be. But then they wanted them to, you know, go back to the west side. So I hope you learned something. Uh... You can uh, check uh, out Harrison House. <coughs> I don't think they have some type of YouTube channel. The proprietor here is very nice. And I hope all you learned something about Las Vegas, a hidden gem. Have a great day.